Guys, Jack from Mirror Camp here again. This is kind of a part two to our previous video. Um, this is going to be focused on how to get your audio levels right. So we're in CapCut now. We have our edit um, and we're missing sound. Sound's super important. It's 50% of the viewing experience. So we definitely want to add it in. So starting out, I have a voiceover that I'm going to add. And I'm going to add this in just like how you add your clips, your images, your video, whatever it is. Add it in the same way, drag and drop. And my audio it was is going to start. I'm just fast forwarding this because I know which part I want. MJ, 90. It's right here. So just like how you cut clips, I'm going to go here. I'm going to hit split, delete all this whole part that I don't want. Hit delete on my keyboard and drag the part that I do want all the way over. All right, so we have our voiceover in place. Let's add some music. And for this purpose, you know, you can bring in other music, but we're just gonna stay inside CapCut because they offer a ton of different options. And we're just gonna go through, see what song we want. All right, this is cool. I'm gonna add this in again, bring it above my voiceover, MJ96. For the most of us, and I want it to start. I want you know this beat drop to be in here, so I'm gonna cut it, cut it down on the beat drop, and then bring this forward and just listen to it. MJ 96 bolts, it's gonna drop right when Odell catches the ball. So we're gonna go to where he catches it, and I'm gonna make the beat drop right here, so you know the peak is right when it uh he picks the ball up, which is a good tool. These like high these this orange color is when it peaks usually on a, a bass drop or a hit and you can time up you know when you want that beat to be versus when your video is so you know you can see it now bang he catches it beat drops right away so we want it here now one thing you'll notice and this is a common problem probably the most common problem you will face while editing audio in cap cut is your voice and your music are super off you know you can barely hear your voice your music is too loud so what do you do well here's what you do mj 96 so you can tell my voice is low so the first thing we're going to do is lower the music so make sure your music layer is selected i'm going to select this and i'm going to go over to the right side of my screen where it says volume and just drop it down but i'm not just going to drop it down i'm going to play it MJ and i'm going to drop it down actively and just listen just listen to how it sounds until it starts to make the audio your voiceover sound clearer so let's listen mj 96 bolts gretzky lebron messi go listen let's put it around 10 minus 10 decibels and now mj it's still a bit quiet my voice is still a bit quiet so we're going to select my voice we're going to go to volume and just like what we did we're going to press play so we can hear it mj 96 bolts and bump it up gretzky, lebron messi mj 96 bolts just bump it up mj 96 bolts gretzky lebron and that sounds pretty good so it really is a big game of trial and error there's not like one quick solution to you know mix all of your audio super easily this is the way i like to do it just you know having full control dialing in exactly how your audio layer your voiceover layer and your music sound together super important you know it's just right here adjusting the volume so you know they're co cohesive and neither overpower each other so again let's add some sound effects sound effects super important they really bring everything together so i'm gonna go to you know our music tab i'm gonna scroll down where it says sound effects and i'm just gonna look at some that i think will be good um so tiger woods mj he hits this putt so let's look up um what would be a good putt sound um maybe golf let's look up golf the thing is you can literally search up any sound effect anything you could possibly think of most likely it'll be available for you right into cap cut which you know is another great benefit of using cap cut so let's do no that's a golf swing no golf um golf hole maybe that's that's good so we're gonna do this and like how we we're just gonna drag it in for now and like how we lined up the catch with the sound we're gonna put our playhead right where the ball hits the hole and we're gonna drag this in right 
when the sound hits the hole. So let's see. MJ. That's literally perfect. MJ. MJ. But it is a MJ. bit MJ loud for my liking. So again, the same way we edited it before. And I'm just going to drop it down by minus two for now. Let's see how that sounds. MJ. That's pretty good. That's perfect. MJ. And this is exactly what you want to be doing for all of your audio. This is how you edit your audio and make it blend together. Just going one by one, adjusting it until it sounds right. Use your ears. It's really a game of just hearing, listening, and changing. All right, and let's let's add more just because, um, you know, this is a sports video, so it would be appropriate to add some crowd sound effects. So let's go. It's just easy as this. Search up crowd. And let's just, you know... Let's do crowd cheer, actually. I'm just going one by one, just down the list, listening to them, seeing which one sounds best. Just for this case, we're going to do this. We want the crowd to cheer right when he hits the putt. So I'm just going to go again, line this up. He hits the putt. A couple second delay, trim it. Yeah, 96. That's good. MJ, nice. but it's way too loud. So again, select your clip, press play. Yeah. 96 volt. Gretz, drop it down. MJ, 96. Tiny bit louder, I think. Just go minus 13. MJ, 96. Low, tiny, tiny bit louder. MJ, 96. That's good. Volt. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to. We don't want all this throughout the whole video. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna split. We're gonna delete. And now we have an issue. The issue is that this sound abruptly stops. Six volts. And that is very jarring to the viewer watching. So what you're going to do, you see this little like circle ball, just, just grab that and drag it out. And now it tapers the audio out. So hear this. 96 volts. Basically, it tapers it out so it's a nice. much smoother transition to stop the audio. I recommend doing this for all the clips that, that need it. It really yeah. makes a huge difference um, and just so much more natural to the ear. So definitely, you know, just drag it and just taper it out. Easy as that. But yeah, that really sums up how I edit my audio. Um, you know, make it sound good, tweak it here and there just by mainly using volume and then these two sliders here. Um, that's really what you want to be focusing on. But yeah, really the number one takeaway here is just playing with it, adjusting each volume until you get the desired sound you want. Um, that's what I do for all my audio and it's super important. Bad audio can lead to people really not liking your video. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure to like and subscribe and check out all the other videos on our channel. We have CapCut tutorials, Premiere tutorials. Make sure to check it out or just click right here. You can see our newest one right now. See you guys soon.